everyone, how's it going? Tracy here from NoPageLeftBlank.wordpress.com. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you've never been here before. Um, I haven't done a video in a couple of weeks now because this is getting into the busiest time of year for me. Um, we actually do Halloween pretty big in my family and I make my daughter's costume and everything so that takes up a lot of time. And then it becomes November. November I do National Novel Writing Month every year. It's a uh, tradition for me, so a lot of focus on that. And then my daughter's birthday comes up in early December, and then my husband's birthday comes up right after that, and then it's Christmas, of course. <laughs> so it's a really busy time of the year. Um, but I do still have unboxings to do, and I actually have a lot of them to do, so I'm going to try to get to them hopefully fairly quickly. It'll probably be close to the end of the month by the time I've actually uploaded every video, but I'll work through them and then more will come and so on and so forth. Today I have a double unboxing. It is Nerd Block and a Welcome Block. It is the Nerd Block for October. My husband wanted to order it because there was something in there that he wanted to uh, take a chance on. And to get the Welcome Block, which is something that they uh, they started not that long ago. Uh, we signed up under his name with a new account so that we could see what this welcome block was all about. And basically, it's uh, some random stuff from previous boxes to welcome you in and show you this kind of stuff that you're going to be getting in your nerd blocks. Um, so we did expect that it would probably be stuff we had already had because it wasn't that long ago that I cancelled Nerd Block and my husband subscribed specifically for this one box I'll probably be cancelling it again um, but it wasn't that long ago that I cancelled so chances were everything in the welcome block was going to be stuff that I already had but what the hell, you know may as well get it, right? if you're going to be subscribing. So, first thing I'll show you is the welcome block. I have already seen inside this one, and it is stuff I have. So, there you go. It's not a full block like the nerd block and horror block and etc. Um, it's kind of a mini block. And there's a couple of things. Um, the first thing is another Titan Saul Goodman. And it just, this makes me want to sigh because I I got this in I think it was nerd block I'm assuming it was nerd block uh, not horror block or anything uh, but I got this many months ago in an actual block and then a couple months ago I got the vinyl palooza box and there was another one of these in so now I've gotten the welcome block and <laughs> this is my third one and I'm pretty sure they're all identical I haven't looked super hard to see if it's a different suit or anything, but it's just... Wow, I have three of these now. <laughs> and the other things... Um, there's the Ghostbusters wallet that was in... Um, I guess... I'm not sure if this was Nerd Block 2 or if it was Horror Block. But either way, it was one of the blocks. I already did get this and I haven't been using the one I got because it's a very small little wallet, it's not uh, something for me, but whatever, I'll find somebody that wants it. Um, the last two items are just, they make me sigh even more than the Saul Goodman, because first of all we have, if you guys watched my arcade block unboxings, you know that I have been sick with the CDs. Uh, two months in a row they gave us CDs and then they gave us a record. Uh, so when I saw this in the box it was like, oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. I don't know what I'm going to do with these CDs. And the last little item is, uh, it's called Clickers? Yeah, Clickers. Um, your block did these a little while ago. They are basically like little bracelets, but you're meant to move them and twist them and make shapes out of them and so on. 
Um, there was two of them in a previous nerd block, and my daughter does actually play with them and wear them and whatnot, so at least that will get some modicum of use. But the other three items, you know, the, the, it's free. I can't complain too much because the welcome block comes free when you order a new block. So these are free items, but they are all things that I already have, and at least one thing that kind of made me almost throw up the first time I saw it. So <laughs> how much more can I say about that? So that was my welcome block, if you're wondering. Uh, the welcome blocks are not all the same, I will let you know. I did see a couple of other YouTubers that I follow uh, unboxing their welcome boxes, and there were different things in them. Um, most of what I saw was stuff that I have gotten in previous nerd blocks. Um, there was like one guy got a bandana that was different from the bandana that I got, so that was a little bit different. But overall, pretty much everything I've seen is stuff that I did get. So chances are there was no welcome block that I was going to get that was actually going to be new stuff. But again, it, it's free, so there you go. So this is the focus of the video. This is October's Nerd Block. Again, my husband wanted to order it because there's something in here that he was looking at. So he had been in it, I haven't been in it. Let's take a look together. Okay, I have to backtrack. Um, I have to backtrack because my husband will point this out. The Nerd Block was not the one that he wanted to order. The nerd block I wanted to order because there was supposed to be two vinyl figures in it. So, we, and we signed up under his name to get the welcome block. So I'm just correcting that now because he will point it out. It was horror block that my husband wanted to order, so that one will be coming up in a different video. Just clearing that all up. So the theme for this horror... So the theme for this nerd block was... Um, like a Halloween, a trick-or-treat kind of thing. Um, I think. I think it was trick-or-treat. Anyway, it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> and the first thing is a shirt. Every nerd block comes with a shirt, and this one is kind of cute. It's Gizmo. It says, Peltzer's Pets. Do not feed after midnight. Since 1984. That's kind of cute. I'm okay with that shirt. <laughs> Gizmo is pretty adorable. And Gremlins is a pretty awesome movie. Um, and I don't know for sure because it doesn't say anything on the tag, but I think this might glow in the dark. There's like, you guys probably can't see, but there's like an extra layer of something under there that's a slightly different color. I think it might glow. So we'll see on the card in a minute. So that's the first item. I'm going to skip the big one for now and show you some different stuff. Um, okay, there is a coaster here. It's a single coaster, not a pack. And it's from Simpsons. Let's put your mug on my mug. Moe's Tavern. That's kind of funny. Um, not a huge Simpsons fan. I do watch Simpsons. I have left at Simpsons. I don't collect Simpsons stuff, so... I may actually ask a buddy of mine if he wants this because he's a big Simpsons fan, so there you go. And there is a little box here that says Zombie Hunter Official Issue Dog Tags. So that's what the box looks like. Inside there is a set of dog tags, obviously. There you go. They're decent looking dog tags. The one says, shoot them in the head and they'll stay dead. Zombie Hunter. And it's blank on the back if you want to engrave anything. And the other one says, zero. Zombie Emergency Response Operations. So there you go. I don't think that this is in reference to anything. Um, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is just, just you know, a zombie thing, not uh, like a particular fandom or anything like that. But you guys can let me know if I'm wrong. Kinda neat. 
Uh, I don't see me wearing them. I'm not a dog tag kind of person, but I might hang it up somewhere uh, like with my horror movie uh, Funkos and stuff like that. So, there you go. Something kind of silly. Uh, several, several, several nerd blocks ago, like maybe even last year, um, there was a book of Mad Libs amongst the stuff. Here's another one. This one is featuring Bob's Burgers, which is a funny show that I do enjoy. The Mad Libs, not so much. It's not, you know... My daughter might someday have fun with these. <laughs> um, I'm not the kind of person to sit down with a book of Mad Libs. And, but, there you go. And this is really kind of strange. <laughs> um, I did know that there was going to be a Gem in the Holograms item in this box, which seemed funny to me right off the bat. This is not the kind of item I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting a comic. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, I have received many comics from Nerdblock and other uh, subscription boxes. Never would have expected a Gem in the Holograms comic. It's kind of funny. Um, Gem in the Holograms was a big show of my childhood. Not very into it now, <laughs> but I'll take a look at it. It might, you know, be a stroll down memory lane or whatever. Kind of funny. And the big item. I do feel that Nerdblock cheated a little on this one. Uh, because the emails and the propaganda and whatever kept saying that there were going to be two vinyl figures in this nerd block, and that's why I subscribed to it for the month. Um, it's kind of a cheat because it's not actually two vinyl figures, it's a set that happens to have two figures in it. Um, you know, when I hear two vinyl figures, I, I imagine two separate Funko Pops or whatever. But this is a set. Albeit, it is a cool set. It is from Alien, obviously. It is the Alien and Ripley. It's pretty neat. And the Alien is like splattered with glowy blood. So it's actually pretty cool. I do like this little set. I'm gonna oh, even open it and take a look. So there they are. The alien is really cool looking, actually. And you know, there's not too much you can do with Ripley, but she's uh, recognizable at least. So they're actually really cute. I do like this a lot. I just think that I don't like the wording that Nerdblock used where they said two vinyl figures because this is a set that goes together. It is not two separate items. So. But these are really cool. I really like the alien. He's awesome. And there's just a little bit of literature to go through. There's a card here that says, Next month Nerd Block Classic is bringing you an exclusive item from Firefly. Uh, and on the back it says, You can also expect some great items from Star Wars The Force Awakens and Sherlock. So that's interesting. I actually was thinking about keeping Nerd Block for one more month just for that. And that's a slippery slope, as you guys know. but. We'll see. And there's a card that uh, introduces sci-fi block. Uh, I think I got a card for this in arcade block as well. So just basically nerd block is starting a sci-fi block to go along with, you know, the horror block and the arcade block and the kids blocks and everything. So there you go. If you are more intimately uh, a fan of sci-fi stuff in particular, that might be a block for you. And there's the little card that shows everything that's in the box. Uh, it does say that the uh, Gremlins t-shirt glows in the dark. Of course it shows a creepy um, like spike gremlin when you're in the dark. Um, the Alien and Ripley are a uh, an exclusive to Nerdblock. So that's pretty cool doesn't say anything particular about the dog tags, so again, I don't think that those are uh, a fandom, r really, so much. 
The uh, Mo Coaster and the Jim the Holograms comic are also exclusive, so that's pretty cool. So, there you go. Quick recap. There's all the literature. The Alien and the Ripley uh, Titan vinyl collectibles. They're pretty cool. I really like them. The Gem and the Holograms comic. Totally not what I was expecting. A book of Bob's Burgers Mad Libs. Will not get used. <laughs> a uh, Mo Sislak little coaster. It's, it's a nice coaster anyway. There you go. The Zombie Hunters dog tags. Which, again, not a fan of dog tags, but I'll probably hang them up somewhere with my horror nerdy stuff. And a glow-in-the-dark gizmo shirt that shows Spike when you're in the dark. So there you go. All in all, I cannot say that I'm disappointed that I uh, resubscribed for this one box. I do like the shirt, I really like the two vinyl figures, um, everything else is pretty much up in the air, but the vinyl figures and the shirt together mm, kind of make it worth it for me, so I'm not disappointed. It wasn't the greatest box because some of the things are kind of iffy, but, you know, Mad Libs, stop sending Mad Libs, for God's sake. Anyway, point being, <laughs> I'm not disappointed that I bought the box, um, but it it's not, it wasn't great. You know, wasn't amazing. Um, I'm actually kind of hopeful, hesitantly hopeful for the next box because it's got Sherlock and Force Awakens and Firefly. There was, there was something else that was in the email that I can't remember, but there's a whole bunch of stuff that's supposed to be in it that sounds good, so fingers crossed. And I'll try not ever to make that face again. <laughs> So there you go. That was a welcome box from Nerd Block and the Nerd Block for October 2015. Not too bad, uh, not horrible, not great. So somewhere in the middle. <laughs> um, if you are interested in Nerd Block, I'll have some information in the description box below, uh, as well as you know my social media and all that stuff. If you're interested, so check it out. And if you've enjoyed the video. Please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and come back for more unboxings. There's going to be a few in the next couple of weeks. Bye.